Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a long time since I posted a video. I kind of got burnt out on the Pomonix versus Mach 3 debate. And Mach 3 won only because they had um, multiple work offsets. I could do up to 255, I think it was. Pomonix only would allow you to do six. So that was a deal breaker. The only thing I did miss is I missed how fast I could rapid with Pomonix. Well, I had a computer failure and my Windows XP with the parallel port died. So this is a Windows 10 computer with a UC100 adapter. When I installed the UC100, I had to go to my book and back in here, I've got all of my settings wrote down. So I re-entered the settings and now I have a machine with Mach 3 that's running just as fast as Pomonix was. So what I'll do is first I'm gonna let you see the gantry move. So here we go, we're gonna do. So, so you asked how fast is that? Well, let's watch right here. You can see our speed here. That's 472. Now I can even go in here to motor tuning and I can do 13,000 and it'll, it'll dumb it down 12,750. We'll hit okay. And we can hit 500 inches a minute. So from there, there's 502.12. If you watch the machine. So now with the 64 bit architecture and a UC 100, you can make Mach 3 run just as fast as Pomonix. So there is no advantage to running Pomonix over Mach 3 other than Mach 3 is old, but there is a huge community of support with Mach 3 it would take at least 24 hours before I would submit a ticket and I would get an answer to whatever problems I was having. With Mach 3, you can go search the forums and within 10 minutes, you would have an answer. I haven't really had a need to purchase Mach 4 yet. So with Mach 3, the old outdated antiquated software is running just as fast and just as reliable as the Pumatic software. So Vince, if you're watching this, sorry dude, but now the UC100 is what it took from me to match what Pumatic can do. So there is no reason whatsoever that I have to ever switch back over to Pumatic. So from now on, Newfangled Solutions, if I do any upgrading, it'll be to Mach 4. But anyway, I wanted to post a follow-up video in all of the videos that pertain to this debate, video to video, I'll put down in the description. There's videos of me tuning uh, Pomonix and me tuning Mach 3. And for me to be able to still have, up until this moment, I haven't found a 6040 that did 500 inches a minute. But up to this moment, it appears that I still have the fastest 6040 on the internet especially running Mach 3. If you have a faster machine or a machine, a, a China 6040 machine that will run 500 inches a minute, please put it down in the comments because I would love to see it. I'm not saying this for bragging. I'm just saying that the machine itself with upgrades with Steffer motors and a controller, a G540 controller, you can do 500 in inches a minute with the China 6040 machine but not with the stock controller that it comes with. I don't care if it's a tan box or a black box. Neither one of them will run 500 inches a minute. Neither one will run as stable as this setup. And uh, I also have a legitimate version of Mach 3. They say you a cracked generic version on Mach 3. Anyway, I need to limit this to five minutes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.